my name is Tom Boyd, and I am one of the original founders of, of the Hollywood Soloists. I'm the one that sort of thought about this concept of cinematic uh, studio musicians come out to play. I, my, my mission, um, since I do have an arrangement of Mission Impossible, mission, my mission, if I so take it on, uh, is to um, try to get this movie music out into the public so that you can actually listen to not only the melodies that they're familiar with, but actually the, some of the musicians that were behind the scenes playing the movies that we were um, involved in and in those dark scoring stages with either John Williams or Jerry Goldsmith or some famous composers. instrumentation comprised in this group is me, the oboe player, and piano, uh, double bass, cello, and flute. The hardest thing with these composers is having to consolidate a hundred piece orchestra, which is what we originally did the scoring for, for the particular movie, and condense it to these down to five instrumentalists the flute, the oboe, the piano, the double bass, and the cello. And that's what's really kind of fun and challenging is to how do you, how do you get a really big sound out of just five uh, musicians. And people walk away from these concerts and they go, I don't know what, why it sounds so huge and so big. So yeah, we have a lot of fun in the rehearsals. We, we try to make it really enjoyable for all the musicians that come and work with us. So as we did in the recording studios, um, doing all these movies. I want kids to come to these concerts to see how fun and how enjoyable it is to play a musical instrument, at the same time hearing some really, really fun music, like The Simpsons. kids want to start instruments that they never in a million years, you know, their parents are going to go, oh my gosh, my son now wants to play the clarinet or the oboe or the flute or the, or the piano or whatever. I mean, this is the one of the things that I feel that's wrong with our society today is that we're just, when we don't have a lot of accessibility to instruments in, in elementary schools, like I had when I was in fifth grade, I had a, a clarinet stuck in my mouth and, um, you know, bless it. God rest his soul, but Alan, Andy Williams, who you know, passed on the other day, he um, uh, wrote a movie called, a song called Moon River. 
and they had written it for the, from the, uh, the oboe, and so I raised my hand and I said I'd like to take the oboe home and, and learn it since I was playing the clarinet and I had to play it in front of the entire school. And so Moon River and Andy Williams uh, started my career back when I was in fifth grade. How many kids today can actually feel like they're walking away um, from a concert and saying, wow, I wanna, I wanna do that, I wanna be a part of this. I'm a very, very blessed guy to have gotten up every morning and gone to work, enjoyed what I, you know, what I did for a living from a very young age. And uh, pretty much where I'm at at this point is sharing what I've experienced all these years with these five musicians. And we are going to uh, take this all over the planet so that people can, can experience live acous acoustical musicians playing those melodies that they've heard so, so many times by going to the, by either watching on television a movie or going to a theater, which very few people do these days, but that's the, uh, the ultimate goal that I have.